Um, I'm Esther Sidley. I've been with PSSU for three years now and I'm the admin assistant. And I help out the management with, um, with disseminating the research and getting it out there on the website and around to our colleagues and helping them out. I've seen more projects, they're getting out there more. Um, and uh, seeing them in the media a lot as well, they're getting noticed by government bodies. In terms of my fondest memories, um, I think generally it's a very nice place to work, people are friendly. Um, but the most recent, actually there was something that happened very recently when I had to proofread a paper on direct payments and how it's affected uh, service users and seeing the difference it actually makes to people and how it gives them an, um, some sort of uplift in their lives as carers. Um, actually reading it brought a smile to my face seeing how much of a difference that, that makes. I think over the last 40 years the key things have been the impact on um, dementia sufferers and the social care that they receive and also especially the areas of mental health and helping people out there. Um, I think also because it has brought the, um, the areas of mental health to the public attention a lot more um, because a lot of people are unaware of the issues involved there. And it's made be because of the work that's been carried out and it's, being, it's gained media attention and eventually it's been brought into practice uh, by the government um, and it's become more relevant on um, health treatment programmes. It's, um, it's really helped people realise that there is more to mental health than what people made assumptions about before. I think if I had the power to introduce um, a single social care policy um, tomorrow, um, I think it would definitely be more assessment on mental health and helping people out with that because again there was a lot of assumptions made on that. Um, people don't receive the same help, uh, same help as they do with physical problems and mental health is a lot better. If I had the funds to commission a single piece of social care research tomorrow, uh, I think it would be um, elaborating on what we already have on mental health and um, particularly from a personal interest point of view, more to do with uh, the mental health of new mothers. Um, this is something that I have seen, um, not from a personal perspective, but people who I'm close to. Um, I really don't think there is enough help at the moment uh, in terms of helping out new mothers. Um, there have been complaints about the lack of help from midwives because they're too tied up and there aren't enough of them. And I think that there could be more research into how midwives could help care for, um, for new mothers and spotting the signs of postnatal depression um, because it can sometimes stem from physical experiences. I think the main issues facing social care issues over the next 10 years is quite obvious. It is funding. Um, so we need to actually make sure that the research we are putting out is relevant so we can show that it's more economical to do, as prevention is definitely better than cure. So if we make it clear that our research is helping to, pr make, to help prevent issues, then it's much better than curing it.